Alrighty, welcome to uh, the B-Box assembly part of the video. We're going to be assembling uh, one of the boxes here. I've done a couple of them already here to kind of give you an idea of what they're going to look like and uh, make sure the handles are up and everything's lining up nicely. Now, uh, there's a couple of things they uh, tell you to recommend that you use, and uh, they say hammer, carpenter square, four clamps, and uh, doing these right here, that may be fine. Um, I found the clamps really were just more of a bulk and a pain to work with. Um, and they said a hammer, just a general hammer, and I found that um, two different hammers. First of all, your hammer for the 6D nails, which do not come with the box set, so make sure you go get you some 6D nails. These are two inch nails, non-ringed. So you will have to go pick those up and uh, also doesn't come with uh, a wood glue, any type of wood glue will do. Um, this happens to be the Elmer's brand, so I'm going to rock that there. Um, also it does not state, but also I really, really like the rawhide mallet. Um, works great. I can go in here and I can hammer and tweak the edges with this and really not mar up the wood a whole lot. So once we get to sanding and painting, it will save us a lot of headache if we go ahead and just use this to uh, tap it all and get it all lined in together. So I uh, highly recommend rubber mallet, rawhide, plastic, something besides metal to do that. And of course they also say uh, frame it square. So make sure everything stays square and true for your boxes. So we got that, got that, we have that. Um, again, this is all the goodies they sent me. Um, so to get started on this, we're gonna take, um, make sure the fingers are up, handle parts are up, so hold like this. You wanna make sure your ridge on the inside is up you know, make sure the dovetail pieces fit together like so. Now, when we start here, I'm going to go ahead and give you a heads up. If you go ahead and start assembling just a little bit like this, pull it apart just a little bit like that. I'm going to show you a little trick here real quick. If you'll go ahead and take your wood glue and go ahead and put you a dot of glue wherever it's going to be on the face. So here, 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 here. If we do that, when we go ahead and put a dot, 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 goose. All right, if we go ahead and we do that, works out perfectly when we get this folded together and we assemble it, the glue is nice and touching all the sides it needs to be. Now, that being said, this is where you can go ahead and you can use your rawhide mallet so you're not messing up the wood. And go ahead and give us a little, little love tap, a little love tap. Get everything happy and started there. Once you get this going, um, we're going to use the right angle in a minute, make sure we get a good right angle on here and everything. I'm going to go ahead and put one nail in here to kind of keep everything together and put it kind of where I want it at. And Right now it's happy. So we're going to grab a 60 nail. I'm going to go ahead and grab it in 